drives down in both alleys. Jerickson Profar stands in and takes one inside from Tarek Skubal. A little misty rain here. Up a little bit, they got the tarp off, and now just as the game's about to start, the fog and the mist kind of roll back in. Anybody, because they have to pick up the ball. You're you're still seeing the target quite nicely, and you know there's really nothing that distracts the uh, lighting situation. Two one to Profar. Now three and one. Line drive center field. A single to start the day for Jerickson Profar, his third hit of the series. The outfielders as much as anybody else, and we witnessed on the very first batter. Cronenworth to left field. Robbie Grossman has it. But he's got a long, long way to go. First pitch swinging. Baez to scope the relay in time. How do you like them apples? So that was a great play. And we've seen some really good leather at shortstop in this series. Kim for uh, San Diego has made. Oh, I, I know some people get frustrated with the swings and misses. You're going to see that a lot. Luke Voigt just did it there to make it one and one. But Voigt fouls it away. <laughs> swing. <laughs> the emergency <laughs> swing, as Gibby calls it. <laughs> I love when you contemplate the 2 2 grounds it foul. That was, we, Kurt, that was Kurt Gibson on a poster not too long ago, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. He pops this one up. Tough sky, scope drifting under it, and there's one away. We welcome in our friend Trevor Thompson. Hi, Trev, you all buttoned up? Uh, I'm getting. <laughs> they want four or five of an organization's top prospects. Guys who are already at the majors are on the verge of being there. Uh, they said to be in on uh, negotiations for obtaining the slugger from the Nats. Tread, they're going to be a buyer, right? Oh, they're going to be a buyer, yeah. and they're probably not going to catch the Dodgers in the division race, but you'd have them for potentially three playoff runs. So uh, a guy that could be moved by the deadline this year rather than waiting for next year to come. Robert Hassel, a couple others who are in MLB Pipeline's top 100. This one is lifted to left field. Ivy Grossman is under it. Need on that ball club. Oh, there, there's no question they, they need an outfield. There's no question. Yeah. I mean, in, in my mind, anyway, I think they're guessing they could also use some bullpen arm or arms. So it wouldn't surprise me if San Diego made a move um, for either a closer. And they've got a real good starting staff. There's two of the yep. guys, Blake Snell and Sean Manaya. Kim to second base when Tatis gets back and then. Hosmer and yeah, Cronenworth. There's a foul tip into the glove of Eric Haas. Another Good job. Homemade sign. Go Tigers. Into the third. Derek Skubal. Seven pitches in the first. Trent Grisham and Matthew Baton. On the inside corner, one and one to Ruiz. Up high. Ruiz just 23 years different spots for San Diego ground ball to third routine for Jamer Candelario but Tarek school I'll listen pretty much anybody on this team yeah I get it yeah I mean it, well that's just it you know I, I think a lot of people interpret that differently they well why would you even can, you know offer him well can produce a winning team yeah and that's just it. If, if he has to be the guy to go to make that happen, well, you and I would prefer to have a winning team here. You and I talked about stations. I just don't think there was anything offered that was going to be adequate. More than adequate. Pitch there to Trent Grisham. Self, well, why would anybody want somebody from a team that's at the bottom, right? You would want the quality play. And the third baseman today, 0 for 2 in the series in a couple of pinch hitting roles. Major league team. Yeah, and that's always, you know, it's a part of your scouting department to figure all those things out. Second, Jerickson Profar leads off the fourth for San Diego, and then it'll be Jay Cronenworth and Manny Machado. Into a real good pitcher's duel, and like I said earlier, it's going to be runs, run. And I don't know if you quite understand what that means, but you look up at the scoreboard and you realize. 
I don't have room for any error right now. In reality, if you pitch a lot, every day you're not going to be at your best. So you got to make your best pitches when it counts. There's a, you look across the diamond and you're watching the game on the mound from your own dugout and you see what that guy's doing against moving. He's making weak contact if any. And so he knows all right I I can do it. He's he's in command. He's still got the lead. Hey, that was must watch her back in your day much listen to baseball do and help you. Well I think you know it going out to the bullpen to warm up the start of the game. Second hit allowed by Scooble and it comes with one out here in the fourth off the bat of Jake Cronenworth. That's his. I wanted to give him a chance and that's Scooble knows that. Also knows this is the most dangerous hitter in the San Diego lineup in Manny Machado who bounced into a double play in the first. Let's hope that continues here in today's game. Who swung on and missed on two. Sheer. You know when I look at that graphic right there. I say to myself the most important number that I'm looking at. You know and he's had 40 homers or more just once in his career. And it's a lot. I'm not taking anything away from him, but the longevity you need to sustain yeah. and the production. When you talk about Hall of Famers offensively in baseball, you're talking about make a quality pitcher. You're still hoping for the ground ball. Oop. Wouldn't that chase out of the zone. It's two and two. Tough to get a ground ball. Popped it up. Harold Castro's got room. Foul back. Well, I got him still looking for that ground ball, as Jack mentioned. Instead, another one foul back. Well, San Diego did a lot of this last night. Count the pitches after that error and add those as extra pitches. Right? He should have been out of the inning, but. Low, and it's a full count. Because you're trying to read him every time you throw the baseball. There goes Cronenworth. This one's grounded foul. Cronenworth running again. And Machado draws a walk. Low and away on the slider one and off. Swung on and missed. Change Mike up. Went. Went back to it one on one. Fouled away. You watch a little giddy up on it. I think he could beat him. Yes. Good block by Haas, but both players will advance. Cronin. You got to make a pitch. Grounded foul. The hardest pitch in the one right at somebody. Popped it up and that'll reach the seats in foul territory. Haas looks like he's shifting inside. There's that fastball I was talking about, but not. In the air center field. That'll get the job done for Luke Voigt in San Diego. Cronin with tags. So does Machado. We're tied at one on the sacrifice. Takes it low, one and zero. Oh. Inside, two and zero. Oh. Another one inside. And then the sacrifice fly. And now walks Nola. This is where it gets frustrating for him. First pitch to Hassan Kim is inside. Missing a lot. A feel for, for your delivery and kind of get locked back into the strike zone. There's another slider that just can't keep on in the strike zone. Better about getting another inning. But these are long ones. Yeah, and AJ's go deeper into games, and what they learned was your arm doesn't respond, your body's a little sore, you pitch a lot more pitches, so you're not the one run so far. And a 
Bullet to center to give the Padres a lead. Seventh batter of the inning, Nestori Ruiz. Fly ball right field. Reyes giving chase. Still running. Leaning and making the grab. And then he just started trying to be too perfect. Really, that's re behind. So, what do you do in this inning? What do you do for me lately? That's the story of baseball. Well, he's just got to execute pitch. Dialed in. So that's the that's the bad news. Into the shift to two hopper for Baez. And Grisham is retired. Get stuff right now. We talked about uh, Clevenger the other day and how efficient he was. Darvish looking at maybe one or two innings at the most here, trying to get through five, first of all. You bring, keep your team in it because as dominant as he can be, and he sure looks to be that kind of guy here today, eventually you might be able to get to him because he's going to be part of it. Two and two to Matthew Batten. But for Tarek, that's you want to get back in the game. You want to show that maybe you can see six innings. That got a bat. That's kindling. And by his strong arms him out. Let's <laughs> try to keep you out, my kitchen, Jack. <laughs> Here's jerks and profile. <laughs> that's why I get into <laughs> cake or hot dogs in that chicken then. <laughs> And allowed those three hits. Profar sends it in the air to shallow center. There we go. He's back on track, we hope. That's a quick one, two, three inning. Cronenworth takes strike one. Singleton scored in the fourth. That's when San Diego scored both of their. After that high pitch count in the fourth inning. But this is still a game. You know, you're one swing away from. He's right in there keeping the guys relevant. Jack, I do think the Padres approach is going to change. I could, so no. So I don't know. Not a recipe for success. Fly ball, shallow center. Green is there. That's the first out in the city. <laughs> <laughs> right. There's Manny Machado. And Machado takes one high. It was the Machado at bat. Popped one up in foul territory that was misplayed by Harold Castro. It was ruled an error. And here it was. Couldn't quit. So 24 of his 39 in the inning to get through the frame. 3 and 0 to Machado. Been there several times out there in left field. We're going to make a play. And you know how. Just to the glove side. He's having a tough time getting the ball to the arm side at all. That's gloved by Jamer Candelario. You feel like you let your teammate down. They tell you to forget about it. It's easier said than done. What about a pitcher? How much does it bother a pitcher when you see a teammate? Well, I knew to bring it back. It took me some time. Those were the things when I was young that frustrated me. No question about it. But I realized the older I got, the best thing I saw. Second time Will Vest has gotten up to warm up. Second straight hitter in which. Coming into today's game, he's done it six out of 430. Nola takes it inside. Hands of a bullpen is totally out of your control, and your runners are on base. And those are the ones you want to finish off more than any other time as you're walking off. 1 1 to Nola. Popped it up, foul territory. Castro with room, squeezes it.